Good morning humans. So today I will be showing you what I do on one of the days of my samples for my pond and I'll have Tanisha to help me out so she'll be recording some parts. I'll be recording some parts like the part right now obviously and you get to see what I do during one day of sampling. There are other days that um, other things go on but this is one I wanted to show you especially now that things are kind of winding down so gotta make sure I got a video for the future and the posterity. So I have reached the pond, I have my trusty net with me and the first thing that, you, that I usually do is put out a, a logger, kind of, a logger for temperature, humidity, wind speed and that kind of stuff and putting it in the shade, obviously a must. So this is the logger, it's a Kestrel environmental meter, turning on, you guys in the background, do do do, memory options auto store on and every two minutes every two minutes this will be recording and i'm realizing now that this is turned upside down that's good normally take light readings and stick it out on light and you get the readings you record it that's it pretty easy pretty simple and... <laughs> all right so next i'll be collecting some samples <laughs> some samples for um for some macro or macroscopic analyses and Tan will be recording this, so I'll hand it over. For these samples, I make sure I give them a little bit of air each time so they have enough to breathe. Do I cover them back up? Because I do not want them to die on me, so I need to put them on the microphone. Stop falling! Like in the containers, it's just gonna look like water. Can't really see anything unless you look under the microscope. So now we're going to be collecting data from this particular meter which records pH, conductivity and water temperature and I'll be doing that for the three zones in the pond and Tanisha, my trusty handy awesome friend, will be recording the data while I shout it out from the pond. <laughs> and now we're going to the intensive So that requires me using this net to collect insects or whatever's in the water and then drop them in these bags, tie the bags and then so, Tan, you can ask me to hold this for me? Sure, sure. And then I'll go keep. Long mountain is so nice. And it actually looks like 16 today. Oh, so you're good with O, C, and T? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. But like the S and the P and the T. <laughs> <laughs> like. This right here is a mesovelid. Normally they're a lot faster, but I was able to catch this one. Alright, so a lot of dragonflies are on the pond. So far I've recorded six species. There may be more later on, but for right now, it's six. There's one right there, a green one, big green one, so cool. I'm just going through the pond now looking for anything that might be moving in or on the water. Right there. There we go. See it? Cute. Endemic species, or endemic to the region, to the Great Antilles. So I'm just going to take this down now, take out my samples, and then head home. That is all for the sampling day. Thank you so much, Dan, for helping to record. You are well. Anytime. And to collect data as well too. <laughs> so now going home to do the um, the microbes or the microscopic analyses and then Tan and I have a date in lab to go do some more assessing of some of these samples that I collected a few weeks ago. And after that it's a pizza Friday. Pizza Friday. <laughs> yes. yes. So now home samples have been put down and the next thing for me to do is put these guys in the freezer. So, they've already been labeled and everything, so just gonna... Okay, hold up. Ugh, things are draining. I 
and you can see there are already a bunch of samples in there. Yeah. You can totally just see my arm. Great. This is the part where I like stop and record it properly. But no, sense. So should still be able to see it. That's it. Samples there. Samples there. Samples there. Some loaf, a little bit of food. Samples there. Take a micro pipette tip and put it on a micro pipette and uh, take one of my samples. I'm starting with the open one because it's unlabeled. Blah, 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 blah. Overturn, overturn. Just to make sure it's like properly mixed. And then I do another mixing with the micro pipette. Right now it's set to mic 100 microliters. So I'm going to take this, drop it on the slide. Hold up. And after I finish with one of the sample, I'm going to do two more for the same sample. So three samples for open, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the edge and the margin to see what protists are there and what densities of protists are there as well too. So yeah, that is it. And that's the same procedure for um, today as well as every other day. Every three days that the pond is inundated with water, I do the same thing until it dries out. And then when it dries out, it's another set of protocols. So I collect the insects, the terrestrial insects that are still there or that are just um, just approaching. Because some of them come up when the pond organisms are dying out. So like flies mostly. Um, yeah. And that's it for the aquatic-ish parts. Then there's the terrestrial parts that come at a later point in time. So for today, we are taking out larvae from this pile of grass here. Yay. I'm putting them into this tiny as well. Uh, just gonna like show you a little bit of it because we're wrapping up for a little bit today. So here's one, you can barely see it. Just drop it in. So so far there have been literally hundreds of larvae so far. And larvae so far. Yeah, you can see them falling. Bleh. Pizza Friday and it's raining like hell. <laughs> Good times. Good times. Hi. <laughs> and now the day is done. Time to go home with this empty pizza box. <laughs>